Hey everybody, it's Dawn again. We're here for another mail day. This time we have um, a fairly long box. Looks about, I don't know, about 16, 18 inches long. And this one is from Tops. I do know what I ordered there, so there's a rare occurrence as I actually remember what I ordered. And a box, priority mailbox, and one what looks like something from my PC. Probably a one card that I ordered. Uh, so let's get to opening this. Of course, I forgot my scissors, so do the box cutter for this one. Hope you guys are doing well. Oh no, huh? I don't. Oh, okay. This is one of the guys that um, probably just adds in some extra cards. Gypsy Queen, my favorite. <laughs> Not looking a gift horse in the mouth. That's cool. Added protection's good too. Let's see what he threw in there. Oh, Albert Provost. Oh, some Stadium Club too. Cheers. All right, buddy. That's pretty cool. And this was um, nice, cool. My Sapphire. Evaldi. Huh. Well, this is a nice guy. So I purchased this card actually. Um, just this Blue Wave Benintendi out of 75. Not too expensive either. I'm trying for um, my very first rainbow uh, and kind of a memoran memorandum of Benintendi. And he actually inserted a sapphire. That's a chrome sapphire. That's not cheap. Even though it's just a Valdi and probably not worth a whole lot. That's pretty neat. I'll put that in my PC. So thank you, buddy. Um, I covered up his name, but I will give him some good feedback. Nice. And I'll pass these cards along to somebody else, probably. That's nice. I like that. That's good. That's what the hobby is all about. Doing something extra for somebody. I try to do that. I throw extras in um, pretty much all of my packages, actually. Just a neat way of doing things. All right, so let's see what's in this box. I had the feeling this might not be baseball related, but it is sports related. And if you've been on my eBay um, page, I don't call it a store because it is not. Um, you might find some similar things like this on there. Because of the name change, or lack thereof, this is the invoice I'm sure, the place I bought it from, I'm going to put the box up there and just take from the box, wow, <laughs> he put everything in a bag, well that's pretty cool, to heck with packaging, just put everything in a, in a shopping bag, that does a trick. <laughs> All right, let's see what these are. Sorry for the noise, but I guess there's going to be more of that. And they are Washington Redskins key rings, key fobs. So I know some of you will not think that this is very PC of me, um, but I grew up with them named the Washington Redskins, and I went to a high school, Scarborough, um, whose mascot was the Redskin. So, I understand the, um, the race um, issue and the term redskin. Um, I don't doubt that it's um, derogatory in some nature. And I have spoken to many people about it, including um, registered Native Americans, people who are registered with tribes. And some of my friends who are registered have varying opinions. Um, like we all do. So that's actually a neat looking bottle opener key keychain. So we have some of that, and they're in short supply. So um, there are people wanting those. So those will be on my eBay page. And <laughs> for the beer drinkers or whatever. I couldn't resist these. 
Um, I'm a sucker for koozies, so, and I don't drink much beer anymore anyway, but those are kind of cool. Alright, so we got a few of those. Alright, let's see what else we got. Wow. I don't know what these are. Oh, cool. Ah. Playing cards. <laughs> got one, two, three packs of those. I'm not putting everything on camera because it just will make everything cramped. Ah, okay, so now we have some decals. Cool. For windows or whatnot. And some more multi use ones. A little smaller than the other ones. There we go. So that's what we had in that box. Pieces of posterity, I suppose. Alright, let's put those aside. Alright, so let's see what's in my large box, which I have been waiting to open with you guys. I almost opened it on my own a couple days ago. Um, I had put this box in my office and actually forgot about it for a couple days. And I was like, where the hell is that long box that I brought in? Ugh. Not very good with the box cutters. Alright, so these, uh, much like some of the other ones you've seen in my other videos um, from Tops, um, of course the other ones I bought were of a Red Sox nature. These I picked up because we know he will be in the Hall of Fame. Mr. Mike Trout. And pardon me, this is going to be interesting getting it out. Because they pack it nice and tight and very protected. And you can see, I hope, um, this is a huge piece of cardboard. Let's pack in there. So let me take that out. Get rid of the box. Paper. Flip this over. They do a great job packaging these. Look at that. This is, um... About 18, 19, probably 18 inches long. So let me very carefully put this on a narrow setting so I don't cut the paper to get this tape off. They don't use masking tape, so that's alright. At least they only do two sides. I'd rather have things over packaged than under packaged. Alright, so the top of course tells me what I got, but I won't show you that. I'm going to, wow, look at, look at the wrapping job they do. They put, these are, um, a, pardon me, 10 by 14s, so 10 inches by 14 posters. They call them posters anyway. Um, so they're bigger than my oversized, um, these are 5 by 7s on the wall, as you can see there fully. Those are 5 by 7 oversized baseball cards. What I purchase lately has been um, these, which are the 10 by 14s. Try not to tear the bag because I don't have enough um, protective sleeves to put them in. Alright, so. Goodness, sorry guys, this is taking so long. So this is one. Bought a couple of these. So these are um, facsimiles, not facsimiles, these are blown up um, baseball cards that Topps has produced and I'm going to adjust the camera here because so, they're so big. So that is a 10 by 14 poster and it is actually, um, it looks like it's hand numbered. I don't know if it's hand numbered or not. Um, let me show you on the bottom there. Five of 99. So you can buy gold versions, which are one of ones, but those are like $100 each. Um, they actually have a deal on at on tops.com where you can get, um, I think it's 20% off or 30% off if you buy three. These are usually $25 a piece. I don't pay that. Um, whenever I'm buying, I buy three at a time. But I bought a lot at a time here. So I have 
two of those. And I'm, I don't know if I'm going to have time enough to show you every single one. Um, I'm going to, oof, goodness. Alright, I'm going to put this one back. <laughs> I'm just worried about damaging them. Um, and this one, of course, is, an, I believe, an 89 version of the Bowman. And again, I'm sorry for the camera work, but it's... 10 by 14. <laughs> so that's a nice, um, that's a nice card. I like that. I like his pose. Um, and he's got the, almost looked like a cell phone when I first saw it, but that's the tip of the bat in his hand. That's pretty cool. All right. So I think I'm going to show them on the, <laughs> on this part here instead of up. So they put a bunch in. So I got a couple of those. And I liked this variation. I am a sucker for pretty much any ball player. Postcard or, or pardon me, playing card, um, trading card, where he is signing for kids. And that's a photo variation, 2020 um, photo variation card um, in a... 10 by 14 of trout signing card signing balls for the kids. I think that's all that's all baseball's about. That's how I started in it. I was one of those kids a long time ago as we all were. And they got their sharpies in their hands and <laughs> programs and balls and just really cool. Ah, that's awesome. So I got um, a couple of those and they are all these are individually signed. Not signed. Um numbered um the five by sevens are are um embossed numbered these really do look like they were hand numbered wow that would be incredible if they actually are sure looks like it but it almost looks too perfect to be hand numbered but who knows um i imagine it would be hard to produce them like that so i got a couple of those and those of you who like the 85 version, I have that. I'm just going to leave it like that so you can see the whole thing. Um, I like that. I like the 85 versions. Those are really cool. And I was lucky enough last year to pull a, from Topps Update, um, an autographed 85 um, silver cards, so you know the silk from the silver packs of Mike Trout. Oops, I forgot to put that back. All right, so that's one bag. <laughs> so I told you I bought a few. Um, yeah. They package these well, but it's hard to repackage them. So I'm going to lay this on top and do it later. Eek. Lay that to the side safely. Oh boy. All right. So, one more layer to go here. Let's see what we got. So, you know, I'm not an Angels fan, but those who know me um, in this hobby or otherwise know that I am a sport fan. So, I am a baseball fan through and through. Um, I believe I probably should have been playing baseball. Um, <laughs> That's a long story. Um, <clears throat> but I love the game and I love watching it. And it's just neat that this hobby has grown so much. I'm going to have to rip this bag a little bit. There we go. Anyway, so Trout, not one of my favorite players, but I admire him. Um, certainly don't like the Angels because <laughs> I'm a Red Sox fan. But like I said, I'm a baseball fan, and he is going to be a Hall of Famer. There's no doubt in 11, 12 years that he's been in the league, um, he's stamped his name. So there's some more 85s. Um, so I must have bought three or four of those. Nice. Set those aside carefully instead of repackaging them. And I did like the look of this, especially in the... In the um, big version. This is the 
2020 Heritage. Take that back a little bit. Uh, sorry guys for the camera work, but these are huge. I liked that, um, especially the action shot of him catching a ball in outfield. Um, I like those, and the facsimile autograph is kind of cool. I grew up in the time where Tops put facsimile autographs on everything, kind of faked you out. So about a couple of those. Um, hold it, was that a variation? Of course, I look on the back for the variation, like the card. <laughs> That's funny. And again, these are signed. Um, I got 7 and 8 of 99. I'm not looking at all the numbers that, that are numbered. It's cool because they did gold, of course, in this one. This is the nickname variation, Millville Meteor. You know, I got to read up about how he was named that. I'm sure Millville was his hometown. Ooh, cool. 13 of 99. Huh. So I got two of the nickname ones, and I think the other one's the um, photo variation. Must be, must be. I had to make a decision. Do I get, you know, they had four different ones, I think, the variations. So that's that. Um, I'm actually going to look at the invoice and see if there's any that they forgot. Um, nope. Wow, okay. So I did buy a few. There's seven on that first bunch and seven on the second bunch. So that's cool. So if anyone's interested um, in seeing one differently, I can take a picture. They look just like the um, baseball cards. They're, again, just um, 10 by 14 posters. So, All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. And um, coming up very soon, I'm going to break a box of 2020 Topps Chrome Sapphire Update. Um, I love the Sapphire. Anyway, so tickle that button there and subscribe if you wish. Please leave me your comments. I'm happy to get feedback, and I hope you are well. Bye-bye.